What's up, family? How are you? <laughs> I'm Gigi Nero. Welcome to What the Fuck Life. Why do they want to see you angry? Why? First off, thanks for joining me on Christmas Day, for those of you that celebrate it. I truly apologize for posting this episode so late, but I had to make that Christmas money. <laughs> You know, I I try to record these episodes on Sundays and post them at midnight Mondays, but I was exhausted yesterday. I was so fatigued that I sounded like Peter Griffin when he's drunk. (laughs) I woke up like 9.48 this morning, like like I jumped out of a coma or something. Like, what time is it? Because it was my cousin's text that woke me up. I looked at the clock like, bitch, I slept for almost 12 hours? What the fuck? <laughs> so please forgive me for being late. Please, 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 please. <laughs> so the question is, why do they want to see you angry? This question comes from our last episode when my friend punched me. Then I hit him with the frying pan. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. So what was that all about? I have had guys over the years to tell me that they want to see me angry. Like, who raised you or who were you dating before you met me? I had a long talk with one guy a while back. Like, seriously, why do you want to see me angry? Like, wouldn't you rather see me happy, us happy? In so many words, he said that I was too perfect for him and it made him feel some type of way about himself. Like, like he didn't deserve me or... He wasn't good enough for me. Plus, I didn't have drama. I wasn't spicy enough. I didn't have it. I wasn't black enough. I acted too white and too together. Well, damn, dude, uh, were you watching an episode of Half and Half? (laughs) The episode where Miles told Mona she wasn't black enough? (laughs) To phrase it politely, I was too much like Carol Brady from the Brady Bunch. The only way that I can defend myself is to say, I don't know how other black people behave. I am definitely black, but I'm not like anyone else. I can only be myself. So dude and I stopped dating. And I am tired of dumbing myself down for ignorant ass people. God, everything is so stupid. Why is this country or world catering to stupidity? I guess this is one reason why I'm single, because I refuse to dumb myself down any longer. All I could ask was, why does this keep happening to me? Stop trying to make me angry. I'm really not that angry person anymore. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry for being me. I'm trying to have peace in my life. And the way I see it, everyone should try to have peace in their lives, too. My thing is, wouldn't you rather come home to a peaceful home? No fighting, no arguing, no nagging, no drama at all. We both had a fucked up day at work. So wouldn't you rather come home and relax and chill than than to come home to bullshit? Because I don't know about you, but I would rather be bored than have a life filled with drama. Now, if you want to see me angry... Get into the car with me. (laughs) Get into the car with me. (laughs) Be my passenger for like 10 minutes. And after that 10 minutes is up, tell me you've never seen me angry. Fucking liar. Road rage will kick in at the blink of your eyes. Let a driver do something stupid. (laughs) There was no one behind me. You could have fucking waited, asshole. And here it is. You jumped in front of me just to go there? Drive it so fucking slow. The tortoise can run faster than you right now. Got me slamming on my brakes. You causing me to fuck up my car insurance discount, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, if you wanna if you wanna see me angry, just be my passenger. Bet you wouldn't want to see me furious. But even with road rage, I'm not truly angry and not for so long. When I get angry, I get angry. But why would you want to see that shit? 
I thrived on anger during my teenage years. Why would I want to bring that emotion into my adulthood and into a romantic relationship or any kind of relationship? Dumb. You know, anger is one of the worst emotions a person can feel. Nah, I try to stay away from that emotion. And it's always black people who want to see me angry. Correction. Ignorant black people. There's a difference between ignorant black people and intelligent black people. Um, Chris Rock told us all about that in 1996. <laughs> of course, some of us already knew it, and some of us needed to be reminded of it. Anyway, um, intelligent black people want to see other black people happy and help them to achieve happiness. I guess this is one reason why I have a hard time making friends with black people. I always did. Why was I trying to be friends with ignorant people who didn't want to see me happy? (laughs) Bitch, I don't know. (laughs) The selection was very limited. Who the hell knows? I I don't know. (laughs) Good and intelligent people in general are hard to find. But I'll tell you who actually became some of my best friends. White people, yes, <laughs> yes, of course. There's, there's all, there are all of these racism things going on. But in the midst of all of that, we found a way to become great friends. So newsflash: not all white people are racist or have hidden agendas against black people or other non-white people. Now, as far as black people wanting to make me angry or hard, I can understand it. I think. You know, a lot of black people, especially my bio mom and my bio sisters, they see me as soft because they don't see me as an aggressive person. So they test me. Not talking about just my bio fam. I mean, certain black people, and they instantly regret it. I'm a quiet Scorpio. Don't get it twisted. (laughs) There's a reason why they always say, don't poke the bear. (laughs) Yeah, you got bars or something separating you from the bear. But once that barrier is gone, guess who's screaming for their mommy? I'll give you a clue. I'll give you a hint. It's not the bear. Don't cry, wolf, because no one's going to come in to rescue you. Listen, I hope you have a will. <laughs> but, um, but if people are happy, let them be happy. You should try it sometimes. Happiness. It'll look good on you. Hmm, sounds like a commercial. Oh, (laughs) there's a reason why people hide their anger. I know I don't want an angry person on a warpath near me. No, Miss Sophia, no! You just a big old heifer. Ha, ha, ha. (laughs) Ha! I might go ahead and see that that new version tomorrow. Matter of fact, I think um, my friends already got the tickets. So, yeah, we'll be going to see that tomorrow. But, yeah, um, I would rather be around people who want me to be happy than to be angry. I would rather be that person to make everyone happy than to be angry. I want to bring out the best in people when I'm around them, or at least the good in them. I can't can't stress that enough. God. (laughs) I know some people who will darken a room as soon as you spot them at the door. They haven't even entered the room yet. Come on, I I know you know at least one person like that. (laughs) Everyone was happy and laughing and and having a great time until so-and-so showed up. Shit, why the fuck is so-and-so here? Who invited her? Now the whole beautiful vibe, the, the, the calm, serene atmosphere has turned into some monstrous, icky vibe. Dark cloud and thundering and lightning has filled the room as soon as she enters. Everyone's mood has changed into anger because of the hate they have for this person. It may not be necessarily um, hate, but they all know nothing good is going to happen with that person there. Drama queen. That type of person always has to keep something stupid going. Everyone knows it's going to happen soon, so everybody braces themselves. Oh, because it's coming. 
which one of y'all took my wallet? <laughs> Here we go. I told you. I know one of y'all took it. If you don't give me back my wallet, I'm beating all y'all. Yo, you got my wallet? <laughs> At this point, we could either ignore her or buy into her bullshit. What's it going to be? Because we are ready for whatever. Somebody says, check your titties. <laughs> oh, my God. As big as those things are, you can hide a whole damn bank in them. Shit, I thought those things was your wallet. <laughs> I refuse to be trapped in a ninja moment. I just don't say anything and walk away. I, I know I look guilty to Drama Queen. I really don't care. But Drama Queen will try to push your buttons until you give in to her drama. You know what? Say everything you need to say. But if you slap me, I'm calling the police and I'm letting them slap the cuffs on you. Merry Christmas. That's my Christmas gift to you. You pushed my buttons. I'm pressing charges on you. <laughs> yes, I will be angry with you. Yes, you slapped me. That was your intention. Plus, we're too grown to be fighting. Like the old saying goes, save the drama for your mama. I don't know. I might retaliate. It solely depends on how I react. Because I'm warning you, don't go there with me. So why do people want to see us angry? They're miserable. They want everyone to be miserable too. Be miserable by your damn self. Go find a new hobby. Girl, go get you some business. <laughs> but no, seriously, fight for the greater good of humankind. Be a credit to your race. Girl, go fly a kite. Do something. <laughs> do something. I don't know what people are lacking within themselves, but don't take it out on us. Take it out on yourself because we don't have anything to do with whatever you have going on in your mind. That's something you have to work out with yourself and your therapist. Yes, people like that need a therapist. I don't know what it is about, about black people not wanting to talk to a therapist. Yes, you have to pay them. But at least your therapist, by law, can't tell your business. Doctor-patient confidentiality thing there. Unless you're a danger to yourself and others. But your therapist can give you so much better advice than your friends. Big time. They can actually help you. Confiding in God and confiding in pastor are good. But I think therapists can get to the root of the problem and actually help you deal with it. Don't get me wrong, confiding in God is great. I do it all of the time. But some people really need a therapist, seriously. And while we're talking about anger and therapists, if you're angry, talk to a therapist. Instead of pulling the trigger, instead of throwing the Christmas ham at Cousin Pete, seek help. <laughs> he got hit by a ham. <laughs> We all need it. We all need it. Hell, I talk to a therapist sometimes. <laughs> but um, seriously, um, let me take a moment to say this. This is a terrible time of year for a lot of people. Please check on your friends and family and, and neighbors. Make sure they're okay. Depression is usually high during the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays. Holidays aren't the same without certain loved ones. Holidays are sad if you're alone. You know, not everyone has a family they can just chill with on Christmas. If you're contemplating suicide, please, I'm begging you, please call or text 988. That's the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. You can also text HOME, H-O-M-E, to 741-741. That's the Crisis Text Line. Both have trained counselors to help 24-7. Both services are free and confidential. Mental health is extremely important because living in this crazy world with fucked up people, we all need to talk to a professional. And for, and for these people who want to see us angry, 
Keep that psycho childish bullshit to yourself. You're twisted. When you get ready to see people happy, let them know and prove it to them. We need to live in a world with more love. You know, I've heard people say over the years that love is for suckers. Nah, done, son. <laughs> nah. Love is for everyone, including you. There's too much hatred in the world. There's too much negativity in the world. And like, and like the song goes, put a little love in your heart. Damn. <laughs> Why is that so hard for people to do? I've never seen you angry. I want to see you angry. I know it's Christmas Day, but we don't always get what we want. That's life. Grow the fuck up. And on that note, I'm out of here. Happy holidays. Check me out on linktree.com slash Media LLC. I love you. I appreciate you. Take care. Peace.